Hey guys, the Red Designs here, and today I'm going to be teaching how to make this um, background here. I'm going to make it a little different. Uh, this uh, background was a little older, so I'm just going to recreate it a little bit. And first off, just make a new layer. Um, my document size is 1920x1080. That's what I use for my wallpapers, and that's my screen size. So that's why I put it like that. And then we're going to create a new layer and turn it black. Um, sorry, I made it white. Uh, turn it black, and then just drag your logo in. It's um, You don't need a logo. You can just put like an anime character or anything, really. And then uh, we're going to make a new layer, select our brush, make sure the hardness is at 100, and we're going to turn down with uh, the brush size with our bracket keys. And, uh, make sure uh, the white color is selected, you press X, and if you have different colors, you can just press D, and it will revert the colors to the default colors, and then press X for the white. <laughs> and then we're going to just paint around, I'm going to create these circles, uh, sometimes I call them bubbles. So they look pretty cool. And then we're gonna uh, duplicate with Control Command J. And then we're gonna uh, make sure this layer is selected, the copy layer. And then we're gonna go to Filter, Blur, Motion Blur. Make sure the distance is at 2000. Um, usually it's like less, so you get this blur. But if you turn it all the way up, you should get this cool, like, abstract effect. Um, just play around with the angles, the, um, you just make it whatever. Uh, the angle that I chose that I really like was 47. So that's what I'm going to keep it at. And then I'm going to make a new layer and I'm going to make sure um, your brush is at zero now. I'm going to select a uh, blue color. Right here and we're just going to paint with the brush. I'm going to make a new, another new layer and then we're going to select a uh, hot pink. Color. It's uh, what I use most. I, I really like how the red and pink go together. You can you can also use orange or green or any color really. And then we're gonna select these two layers, uh, and then we're gonna change the blending mode from normal to color. And you should get this really cool um, effect where because the colors are on top of the design or like bubbles that were affected by the motion blur, uh, it should color them in. You can also try like overlay, so the effect is not that harsh, but sometimes you might have like a different color in the background, so I'm just gonna keep it at color. Anyways, and uh, this is a little bit too much for my taste, so I'm gonna go to adjustment layers, I'm gonna uh, play around with the curves, and I'm gonna bring up uh, the dark colors and bring down the wh the white colors so it gives it like a little faded effect. And I'm gonna do the same thing uh, with another curves adjustment layer, but this time we're gonna make an S shape kind of, and then just play around a little bit uh, to get like your desired effect. And then we're gonna go to color balance and make sure um make sure preserved luminosity is set and i'm gonna put nine on the blue scale so it gives it a more cool tone to the overall image it's what i like to use if not you can just put it on zero and then put it on red and like make it red and to give it a warmer feel i guess uh yellows too but i really like the cool vibes of the oops not 69 and uh, I really like the cool vibes of the uh, color balance that it gives you. Uh, so I'm just gonna go to, back to gradient map as well. And I'm gonna change the color from hot pink to blue-ish right there. And then I'm gonna put it on color, but I'm going to change the opacity to like 9%. And if I turn this on and off, you see up here in the pink, uh, it's giving a, a more faded and cooler tone instead of being extremely harsh like we had here and I really like this effect and then for the for your logo I'm gonna clear this um, we're gonna add a drop shadow so click on the drop shadow make sure uh, you untick the use global light I'm gonna set my angle to 90 distance 0 and size a little bit up uh, 90 98 is good 
and then turn down the opacity a little bit. 60 is fine. It gives it a really cool effect. And you can see the entire logo without being affected by the white colors over here. It doesn't like it doesn't stand out. Whereas with the shadow, it does. Hold on. There we go. And now you have your video or oh, your wallpaper for your video or for your wallpaper. <laughs> Uh, thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and let me know uh, if you run into any issues or anything. And um, I'll try my best to comment, uh, to reply to your comment and help you out. And this has been another tutorial by The Ride Designs, and have an awesome day. See ya!